Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the Monday update video that I do for my uh, vegetable gardening efforts uh, in my yard. I've been running this series for over two months now from starting the seeds inside uh, to bringing them out and getting them planted. All the cool season vegetables look fantastic. All of my summer vegetables are in, almost all of my summer vegetables are in, and I'm gonna walk around and just show you those things. This should be a pretty uh, quick uh, update video. Uh, there's cucumbers through this area right here that I'm gonna end up staking. So over the next few weeks, I'll show you how I stake uh, cucumbers, uh, pole beans, uh, tomatoes, anything that needs staking uh, over the next few weeks. And let's walk around and just take a look at uh, all of the edibles that I have in this space right now. So this will be a little hard to see maybe, but there's uh, strawberries planted along the edge of this entire bed. There's a lot of slope to this space right here. And uh, these strawberries should help me uh, with some any, any erosion from the top of this bed. Uh, these are uh, climbing cucumbers here. Last year, when I started this effort, uh, putting in this little, what will be a formal garden around this uh, vegetable area right here, that was all I had done last year. This is new space here. Uh, these were, uh, this is a raised bed, and then it has uh, several inches of uh, compost and uh, pine bark blended in. Compost by itself would have been fine. That's what I'm actually uh, using in that space over there, but I had some bark left over from some other things. And this is a lot of composted uh, things that I had here, uh, old hanging baskets and uh, container plants and even plants from the nursery that uh, you know I, uh, were dead and I composted uh, over time. But uh, all of these are going to be uh, climbing uh, cucumbers here. Well, they, can, they don't have to climb, but if I let these cucumbers uh, run amok in this bed right here, they'd eat my new strawberries. Uh, they'd eat uh, my blueberries over here. So that's the main reason I stake them is to, otherwise they just kind of run wild everywhere. Uh, here's that uh, Miss Figgy fig that I put in a video recently. There's basil there and there's some bush cucumbers uh, right in that space right there behind these autumn lilac encore azaleas. I got these uh, other two figs here. This space right here I reserve for uh, pollinator perennials. Let's just call it that. There'll be salvias going back in there. There's some salvias in there now that are just waking up, but uh, there'll be salvias, Veronica. I have several items that go in here and just draw uh, pollinators and, and hummingbirds uh, into this space. And then uh, right here, uh, these peas. I have been picking peas, pulling peas, and eating peas for two weeks now as fast as I can get them off. And I don't know if you concentrate on how many there are on here that need to be picked right this minute. I haven't picked in a couple days because I wanted to show you how fast these things uh, can actually uh, add peas. But if you look behind this netting, there's, they're just everywhere. It's honestly, just more peas than I could eat. I don't know why I did that many. Uh, all the lettuce here looks great. My spinach has been a little slow to start, but since it uh, got warmer, uh, it's definitely, it's starting to jump now. I haven't picked this lettuce in a couple days. And just, you know, in two or three days, it can just completely fill the space back in. Peppers are planted uh, in here. There's one there, one there. Uh, tomatoes are planted uh, in that other side. I'll walk around there and show you that. But all this lettuce, as soon as I finish this video today, I'll get in here and pick more lettuce. But you can see tomato plant uh, right there and uh, tomato plant here and they're already starting to put on some growth. We've had some upper 80 degree days. And so right there is another one. And they're just throughout this lettuce and kale uh, all the way down to the end. I've got some more peppers here to plant once those peas come out uh, on that other side over there. Looking directly down here, these uh, potato bags are almost full. I've actually added soil twice since I showed them last week. And I need to do some more bags. I, I haven't had time to uh, get some more potatoes started but I want to do a lot more bags I actually I only have four here and I want to go all the way down this edge right here and then put drip irrigation in them over the course of the uh, next few weeks but uh, I just put soil in there uh, last evening but really I could go ahead and fill this bag to the top at this point and so potatoes have gone wild in this uh, in this heat and then back here is probably the biggest change that happened I had this big giant soil pile here of compost and bark mix 
in this area that uh, I had a couple landscape jobs to do and then I was able to uh, um, create the room to spread this out. All my pole beans are in the back back there and then along the front here is all the flowers that I had started from seed. There's zinnias and dahlias and uh, cosmos and uh, sunflowers, a lot of things for uh, pollinators. Uh, there's some parsley right here, some uh, flat leaf parsley. And so that's my uh, update for uh, everything that I got in over the past week. I've still got lots of work to do out here and this entire space is, uh, uh, right here is chaos. Uh, these are plants that I had left from my uh, nursery and um, greenhouse and garden center operation right here that I'm still in the process of either potting up or, or selling off. And so, but overall this space has uh, really started to come together and uh, last year that was my only uh, vegetable garden space right there and now I've added this little wing over there and uh, this little piece back here. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will continue to update this as, as necessary. If there's not a video next Monday, it's because nothing really happened uh, week to week and I didn't need to stake anything yet or anything like that. I did uh, fertilize uh, all of these with a garden tone is what I used after I uh, got these in the ground. It was a little bit smelly when you first put it out, but once it gets watered in a couple times, um, it, uh, it's no longer smelly. So uh, again, thanks very much for watching this video.